Welcome Satan's on Satan's pretty cool. Thank you, base god. Thank you, base god. Thank you, base god. Base god, please fuck my bitch. Please fuck my bitch, base god. God damn it, I love the base god. Welcome on in. Hello, hello. How are we doing? Hi, hi. Let me get all up. Hi, hello, welcome. Um, how's everybody doing this creepy Sunday? Welcome, welcome. Um, hello, Tumbly. Welcome, welcome. And thank you for the, stre uh, for the streak, Jester. Uh, I too am a little, uh, chill this eve. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little, uh, relaxed. I'm a little screepy, as it tends to be on these creepy Sundays. Hail Satan, Jester. Um, quick note on redeems, real quick. Yes, you didn't hear it right then. Um, for whatever reason, sometimes I come across a game like this where, um, it refuses to let me change its audio output. Um, so currently, I can't move my Ace Attorney like audio output over to the game channel, and I can't really mix it live. It's stuck on my main channel, which is also the channel that all my sound alerts and whatnot are on. So I can't like duck the audio for like a for like a Wii Shop Wednesday, uh, like I do, you know, on other games. It's gonna be a whole thing. Uh, not. Not the biggest thing to worry about, but just a thing to note, uh, especially when I got pre-stream music like this, the Hail Satans will be silent. Just be forewarned. Um, getting that out of the way. Welcome on in, happy Screepy Sunday. I hope everybody's doing well. I am chill. I'm really hyped for this game, don't get me wrong, but I'm also, your, your Baffo has had a day. I've been uh, real tired. Um, I, I don't know what was going on, but like, Three hours before I was supposed to start uh, to wake up for work, um, some teenagers just started yelling at each other, um, not in front of my apartment, but on my street. Um, and I was <laughs> like loud enough for me to hear it. I couldn't see them like out the windows, but they were definitely out there yelling something for several hours. So uh, I did not get as much sleep as I was hoping to. And I rarely get that much sleep in the first place. So it's gonna be a fun, fun, <laughs> fun time uh but like fuck it you know i've been excited to play ace attorney all ga goddamn week i have no idea what i'm getting into and I, I think it'll be a good time um i couldn't tell what they were what, what they were um what they were yelling yelling about um there was there, there was like uh, there was like a lot of stop touching me bro uh but it wasn't like it didn't sound like a fight fight it sounded like a like a like a it sounded like an I'm not touching you moment, you know, like where somebody was just like tormenting somebody else. Um, hope you makes at least one objection, maybe even two, maybe more than that. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be that objection hungry. Who knows? I have no idea how this works. Listen, the entirety of my uh, legal experience comes from multiple watches of the trial of Tim Heidecker. So I think I'm a fairly qualified lawyer. I think I've picked up some like, um, um, secondhand bird law from It's Always Sunny. We've got a few tricks up our sleeves. Uh, <laughs> most of us unspoiled. Yeah, no, I understand, like, if people need to remain unspoiled. Like, thanks for stopping by, but, like, yeah, if you, if you, if you don't want to spoil yourself, I get it. Like, dip out. You're going to go full in. Like, I, I, and obviously no spoils in chat, but, um, I am completely fucking blind on this, as I mentioned. Uh, no idea what I'm getting into. All I know, as the stream title states, is, um, subtext. I do know, I do know, uh, people, people are fairly convinced that Phoenix is boyfriends with several of the other lawyer men. Um, I don't know the extent of which, and I'm sure people have their own preferred ships. Um, I'm sure we'll get into that as we come in, as we get to it. I'm not much of a shipper myself in any format or in any media, so I'm assuming that chat's gonna get way more into it than I am, but so be it. <laughs> yummy, yummy, 99% conviction rate. It Does this pl take place in Japan? We'll find out, I have no idea. Um, I believe this game is not voice acted, so I will be providing those myself as best as I can. Uh, Y'all have to deal with uh, the slight lisp uh, whenever my denture is improperly lubricated. Took a little sip right there. 
What do you think about tugboats? I don't actually know what qualifies a ship as a tugboat. Um, Spoilers get blasted by our typo. Not now. <laughs> I was actually thinking, um, just as a little bit of catch up. Um, if you weren't here Friday night, um, I took another run at um, the the Lotus Duel segment in Zero Ranger, which uh, if you fail at it, you lose your whole save file. Um, we lost our third save file. Um, it's really just that between me and beating the game. Um, I've been mentioning wanting to move on to other games soon, but I want to I, I want to fucking beat Zero Ranger. So I've been thinking I was saying that I was thinking about like um doing uh doing like starting future streams maybe with a Zero Ranger run, um getting that out of the way, like getting our attempt at the Lotus Jewel out of the way, and then by the next stream I do a couple runs of Zero Ranger, get my continues back, and then we can start another stream with a um you know with a Zero Ranger run, and then move on to something else. Um, I'm thinking that maybe um this coming Friday, um. Because I was like, what what game? I don't want to start a brand new game, but only dedicate part of the stream to that. Especially when I could be finishing Zero Ranger for real, the same stream. Um, so I was thinking maybe this coming Friday, we start with a quick attempt at the Lotus Duel, see if I beat Zero Ranger or not. And then either way, afterwards, um, we switch to a little Hades. Because it's, it's been a while since I've played Hades. And, uh, you know, um, I still haven't beaten... Um, uh, what's it called? Like, um, w w Extreme Measures 4, uh, with multiple weapons, and, like, we can do a couple runs of that, so I'm thinking maybe that will be a thing, um, this coming Friday. If people have any other suggestions for, like, really quick playthroughs, um, I'd be down to maybe take a look, um, but, you know, I'm just trying to figure out where, where we're going with the, um, sketch in the future. Um, I've also been thinking, like, um, this coming Wednesday, uh, is gonna be me versus, uh, Lingering Well, oh god. I should get in some practice runs. Fuck. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> um, after we beat Lingering Will, I'm done with Kingdom Hearts 2 and, and the franchise as a whole by extension. Um, so I've been thinking maybe... I've been thinking we might be approaching the time for me to, um... Because I still want to do something action-y on Fridays. I've started craving another Wonderful 101 playthrough. And it is my favorite game of all time. And I feel like I've been putting off sharing that with y'all for a little while. So maybe we get into that fairly soon. I'm not sure. I'm thinking um, Dante's Inferno or Devil's Third for Friday game uh, after Zero Ranger is over. But um, I think Wednesday might be one. We might be doing some wonderful Wednesdays. Just unlock that 32 each statue real quick. Yeah. Yeah, just a quickie. Just a quickie. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, that sounds great. Um, oh, pff, fucking shout out to Barpo for this weird ass ending to this song. Um, actually, you know what? I think it's time. Anyways, I hope everybody's weekend has been lovely and chill and nice and neat and fun and comfy. But um, let's get cozier. Let's get visual novel-y. You have to chill for Dante's. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it might be Dante's first. Um <laughs> All right. So we got Ace Attorney, Justice for All, and Trials and Tribulations. These are actually uh, Trials and Tribulations actually that's a clever title. These are the first times I've read these titles to be to be clear. I did not know the name of the first Ace Attorney game. I thought it was just called Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, but um, I didn't know if there was a subtitle. I guess Ace Attorney is a subtitle. Um, even though Ace Attorney became the franchise in an interesting way. Played at any, every one of these games, but haven't touched Ghost Trick. Elk, 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 I need you to understand. Like you have to play Ghost Trick. It's, it's so fucking good. Um, hello, Jay, as of once, almost attorney. I feel like you could give a very compelling opening and closing statement. Um, throwing in the sides about law? Absolutely, please. Though this might be the uh, Japanese court system and not the US one. 
which again, I'm very familiar with thanks to the uh, trial of Tim Heidecker. Um, episode one, the first turnabout. I've seen this dude's face before. I know nothing about him. Okay, cool. Fuck it. Let's play a little episode. The first, fuck yeah. I have no idea how many of these we'll get through per night. Ooh. I'm psyched. <gasps> there he is! The thinking man! Well, now I know why Aki drew that. <laughs> Damn it, why me? I can't get caught. Not like this! Now I've gotta find someone to pin this on! Someone like him! I'll make it look like he did it. August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby number two. I was not expecting to, uh, I, I was not expecting to just be shown the murder like that. So that's, that's a major source of mystery removed, but I'm sure there'll be plenty. <laughs> Okay. First trial, the trial of Tim Heidecker, extremely slow, and was convinced during the opening section that it was real. It could be, is the best part of it. I love, massive shout out to the trial of Tim Heidecker. Case one is always a freebie. Gotcha, okay. Just to see, just to get, get you know, a handle on things, okay. Boy, am I nervous. Right. Oh, oh. Hiya, Chief. Ooh, I'm glad I made it on time. She's got a Magatama necklace. Okay, cool. Oh, well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you, about your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Uh, yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just I really want to help him. I, I owe him that much. It's over. Uh, my life, everything, it's all over. Huh? Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death, despair, oh! I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna die! It sounds like he wants to die. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh Nick! Is his name Butch? Yeah! Uh, hey, hey there, Larry. Oh, dude, I'm so guilty. Tell him I'm guilty. Uh, give me the death sentence. I, I ain't afraid to die. What? Uh, what's wrong, Larry? Larry Butt. I'm sold. I'm sold. Uh, well, what's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I, I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in a world without her. I, I can't. Ooh. Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? But Nick? Nick? Aw, oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Uh, person responsible for your girlfriend's death? Uh, newspapers say it was you. My name is Phoenix Wright. You, he was just calling you Nick. <laughs> Here's a story. My first case is a fairly simple one. Got a turbo hydrate right now. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts, my best friend since grade school. Oh, Phoenix! Oh, okay, that's cute, yeah. Better that than fiend. Our school had a saying. When something smells, it's usually the butts. 
I mean, I'm glad they know. In 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. Phoenix, <laughs> he has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say though, it's usually not his fault. He just has a uh, terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That, and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm kind of shocked we haven't seen our guy yet. Like Phoenix, you know? August 3rd, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number two. Whoa. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butt. Uh, the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The, um, defense is ready, Your Honor. <clears throat> Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Uh, uh, yes, Your Honor, it's, uh, I'm, um, a little nervous. Your con conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Uh, th thank you, Your Honor. Oh, this... Music is a fucking groove right now. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a chest to ascertain, uh, ascertain your readiness. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Hands shaking, eyesight fading, arm spaghetti. Well, gonna... <laughs> the test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. <sighs> the defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Um, oh, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's, wait. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no way, I, I forgot. I, I'm, draw I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, oh the, the, the victim. Uh, of course I know the victim's name. I uh, just f f forgot. Um, temporarily. I think I feel migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab, or I guess right bumper for me, to check it at any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. That's right. Who is the victim in this case? Cindy! Cinder block! Okay, right, well this act, okay. Wouldn't have been hard to f just process of elimination it, but. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was hit with a blunt object. She was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. You answered all of my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Man. So I got out of jury duty. I got that notification the other day, uh, which is rad. Uh, but, but man, I wish I could have seen this part. The, 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 the part of every trial where they, you know, interrogate the lawyers to make sure they're up to the task. Um... The Japanese legal system is what experts like to term actively inquisitional. The prosecutor is actively involved in the investigation and can let, collect evidence themselves. Okay. I know that's something that we do in this, so yeah. Judge can potentially cross-examine the defendant and witnesses. In general, things are weighted heavy towards the prosecution and the focus is on the prosecution. Plea bargains, which are the cornerstone of the fucked up court system, are accordingly not really a thing. Yeah, I know Japanese court is, um, again, 99% conviction rate. Um, basically, the court is more about... Um, arguing for a lesser sentence, which is a, more than a little fucked up, but yeah. Um, somebody in this game would be named Cinderblock. You're probably not wrong, yeah. Name a cat Cinderblock? Oh, a real loaf of a lad. Sounds good. Yes. 
Oh my god, okay. I'm loving this so far. Um, uh, thank you, Your Honor. So I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then, first, a question for the prosecution. Uh, yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt, struck with a blunt object. What do you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was a statue of the Finker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it and ugh, the court accepts it into evidence. Statue added to the court record. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Okay, cool. Who would believe I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry this? I mean, I mean, thus far, you're not wrong. Use her to check the court record frequently. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Uh... Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss inf any information that might help your client's case. You get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh. There he gets excited easily. This could be bad. You got this right, buddy? Oh, that's a twitch. That's a twitch. <laughs> Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy! We were great together! We were Romeo and Juliet, uh, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony! Also, welcome on in, huh? Thank you very much for the follow. What brings you around these parts? <laughs> um, didn't they all die? <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. I wasn't dumped! Uh, she just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me. Never. Now, what's it to you, anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies, all of it, lies! I don't believe a word of it! Your Honor, the victim's passport... According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport added to the court record. Arrived home from Paris on 7.30 the day before the murder. Okay, she's she's kind of slaying right now. Yeah, or was. Uh, not right now. Who's in Paris? No! You can't fool me! Um, It was obviously Kanye West and Jay-Z. Um, that's when they wrote the song. Um... Hmm, indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. The Rugrats were in Paris! <laughs> they were! Uh, it appears that she had several sugar daddies. Daddies? Uh, sugar? Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! We can clearly see what kind of woman Miss, this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right? I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, no, that also, yeah, irrelevant. Objection, relevance. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I? My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. No. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? Also leading, yeah. That cheating she-dog, no, 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 buddy. No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna just drop dead. Yeah, when I meet her in the afterlife, 
I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Oh, fucking Christ. God damn it. He's digging us fucking grave. Um, let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy. This is so not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Oh. Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> oh, well, maybe I didn't. Uh, maybe I didn't. Oh, he went. Oh, what I do? Yeah, 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 no, no. It's just gonna look bad if we cover this up. I know, I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth. Yes, that's not gonna get through to him. Uh, yeah, 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 I was there, I went. Order? Well, Mr. Butts? Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man. So, like, I didn't see her. Is fucking Frieza giving me an objection there? Your Honor. Oh, is it? Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? I'm gonna crank up the volume a little bit. I mean, he would look like that if he was human. Yes. Yeah. No, no. I can see Frieza without any of his father's um, influence going to law school and ending up like this. Yeah. The man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Order! Order in the court! Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sowit to the stand. Okay, yeah, this is the freebie. Uh, Mr. Sowit, you sell newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? I went to test and it used to be a smoking gun Japanese trial. Less so, post you. Wow, okay, gotcha. Uh, oh, oh, yes! Newspapers, yes! Mr. Sowit, you may proceed with your testimony. No, I did a different voice for this guy, I did a different voice for him. In the opening cutscene, I gotta go back to that. He saw it! <laughs> God damn it. Please tell the court what you saw on the first day of your murder. I was going door to door, selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. And I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked into the apartment. Then I saw her, lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. How do you know? You said you didn't go inside. You said you didn't go inside. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. No, you can. Incidentally, why isn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to be at work during a blackout? Are they? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. 
The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Blackout record. Electricity Mr. Stone building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, uh, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor? All right, Mr. Uh, Wright, this is it. The real deal. Oh, the music's picking up. I love it. Uh, what am I, exactly am I supposed to do? I, you expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? What? He was lying? Your client is innocent, right? That witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? No, we are right now. You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, pre present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, okay. Open the court record and point out the contradictions in the testimony. That, yes, short, I know, I know. She she, she do be rocking them titters. I, girl, didn't you go to law school for this? How do you know what no a cross-examination is? I know what a cross-examination is. Um. Wait, wait, shit. Isn't a man leaving an apartment a common sight? I didn't know what each button did, so that was me just messing around. I thought I could actually scroll through evidence or whatnot. I find it odd you would take notice of him. <laughs> I don't know. He just seems strange to me, that's all. Like he was mad, and yet frightened at the same time. Just like a criminal fleeing the scene of a crime. Events request that the witness refrain from conjecture. Of course. What the witness means is that the, the man he saw looked suspicious. So what happened next? Okay. I thought he must be, be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Oh, okay. I can I can go go left to right. Gotcha. No penalty for pressing each statement and enjoying extra dialogue. Gotcha, yeah. I might not do it all the time, but I'm definitely going to do it a few of them. Um, but I already know exactly where I'm going here. Wait, actually, can I... Okay, so I have to I have to press him, and then that lets me open up the court record to find the evidence. Gotcha. There's times where it can be bad to do, but it will be stated. Nice, nice that they let me know. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. The man I saw were lying there. A woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. Here we go. So, you didn't touch anything in the apartment. Aki, hello, welcome on in. Um, it's good to have you here. Uh, fuckos, please follow Mojika, um, who made the amazing uh, thumbnail that I posted on Twitter. Uh, if you, if you, if you haven't seen her already, um, it's gonna be going up on the mod channel for all these. Um, she did such a fucking good job. You killed it! Thank you so much. Um, and it's awesome having you here. Um. Okay, so. Can I use this? I don't, I don't think I can use it. Okay, we'll find out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Guilty! Bailiff! Smack his nuts! Present is for slapping evidence at them. Gotcha! Gotcha! Okay. Yeah, yes and no. I, I, I mean, and, and no. Uh, nothing. Okay. What happened next? Alright. Okay, so I'm going to present... I mean, this... So... I want to use this to be like, aha, how did you know to like, how did you know to check if her phone wasn't working? I'm, I'm hoping that this is, this is going to work the way I think it is. Or I'm going to be like, hey, how did you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try. 
evidence clearly reveals a contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. How exactly are that evidence and statement just now related? They are, are No, how did he know? Okay, I gotta find some other moment where I can actually press him on the phone thing. Sometimes it can be tricky to tell. Yeah, I know. I, that was a bit of a... I, I, I know the train of thought it wants me to get onto. It's just a matter of figuring out the uh, exact... Um, not at all. Mr. Wright, please think the facts over before making accusations. And yeah, we lose a little trial meter. I don't think that won me any points with the judge. Yeah, fair enough. I thought to call the police immediately. Now, however, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Can I... The phone in her apartment wasn't working. Yes, I mean, I mean, no, no, it wasn't, right. But you said you don't go into the... Okay, so it gets there for me, gotcha. But you said you didn't go into the apartment. Or did you? Oh, oh, uh, that, I, 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 I can't explain that. There was a cordless phone on a shelf in the entranceway. I reached inside and tried using that to call. And that phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? Damn it, okay. Hmm. Let me see what evidence I have. It's rather heavy. Hmm. <laughs> if I show my badge, I don't think we get any points out of it. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. Electricity was out at 6 p.m. Time of death. Oh. One sec. 1 p.m. Are you certain? Yes, absolutely. Hmm. Seems really confident. 1 p.m.? Yeah. Right? Doesn't that seem strange to you? Grab some evidence to contradict him. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Wow, yeah, that's a really massive mistake to make in your story, buddy. You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Yeah! Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death is sometime after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, uh... No body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three-hour gap? Um... Uh, Oh, that, 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 that. <laughs> Yeah, Frieza! You're panicking now, huh? This is trivial. The, the witness merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sowit, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well... I, I mean, gee, that's a really good question. <laughs> Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out the contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story fall falls apart. Okay. Now wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? Okay, yeah, fix it up, fix it up. I'm glad you like the pain voice. Uh, you, you see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. You... Slapping it up, slapping it, slapping it, slapping it, slapping it. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm seeing your game. <laughs> uh, oh, but, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Uh, terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Buddy, you're te teeing it up for us. Mm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on a tape program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. 
<laughs> Sometimes playing his attorney makes me want to jump over desk and slap them with the oven. Yes. Yes, I will not be held in contempt. I gotta get physical. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean... I mean, you giant fucking idiot. <laughs> you giant fucking idiot. Oh, come on! Hold it right there! The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it! I was watching East Coast Cartoon Network! <laughs> you couldn't have heard a television or a video. Yeah, I... well... Uh... The defense has a point. You have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? No, I, 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 I find it uh, quite puzzling myself. Wait! Ah, wait, 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 I, I remember now. Mr. Sawit, the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That, and you seem rather... Distraught. Uh, my, my, my apologies, Your Honor. It, it must have been the shock in uh, finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sawit. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Actually, I, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, the, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. I mean, come on! That must have been what I saw. Buddy, buddy. Judge? I mean, at a certain point, I feel like it would be dereliction of duty for you not to call this shit out, if I'm being entirely honest. I get it, he knows it's our first trial, he's being nice. Um, eat your hamburgers, Apollo. <laughs> I look forward to knowing what that's all about. <laughs> he saw it. <laughs> yeah. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Uh, gladly. I mean, he just te teed it up so hard for us. I mean, come on, buddy. We know. We already know. Oh, bets are open for who murdered Cindy Stone, by the way. Wait just a moment. Moment. <laughs> the murder weapon wasn't wasn't a clock. It was this statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? Yeah, I, I immediately appreciate you drawing the thinker. Um... She cross-examines my ace of attorneys. Welcome on in, Kermside. Hope you're doing well. You, you with your ob objections and, and your evidence, just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Sawit. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As a witness stated, uh, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Also, hello, Flame, welcome. Do you have any problems with his testimony now? In fact, I do. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh, oh yeah? Prove it! Prove I went in there! I'll do better than that. 
I can prove you were the one who killed her. You, you struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sawit, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. Oh, what, what's the meaning of this? I mean, this is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that, that day, I, I never. Look, I, the, the clock, I, I, no, 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 I, 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 I saw it. Ah! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you. It was him, it was him, I tell you, I saw him. He, he killed her and he should burn. Burn, I give him death. Order. Order in the court, I say. Your Honor, uh, um, I, I, a moment, please. There, there isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Your Honor, you claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I better think it through carefully. Your Honor, the sound Mr. Sawit heard was definitely this clock fact which is clear if you simply wouldn't be neighbors I do not want to sound a clock if it's the entire fucking thinker first of all um, I would assume that sounding clock would work right Let's send the clock now. Here is this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? Ask the court to listen very carefully. I think it's 825. Oh, <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> okay, that's really good. That's really fucking funny. <laughs> that certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker after all. It's really fucking. I love it. I love it. I need the thinker clock to first. No, no. Aki already drew one of me. It's even better. So we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? Oh, is it back? Is it behind a few hours? It's 11.25. Ah! As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely to the discrepancy between with what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit, try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> you forgot one thing! Uh-oh. Well, what's he talking about now? Oh, while it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? And if you can't prove that, you don't have a case. I don't... I don't think that's how it works, but... He's right. How am I going to prove that? Damn it, I was so close. I mean, all this evidence has been wildly circumstantial, and, like, half of, half of the interrogation is based on the fact that a man has gotten visibly nervous when he knows he's being suspected of murder. Which I don't think is the reason to actually convict anybody, but but okay. Um, let's let's dig deeper, huh? Um Mr. Wright. It seems like you now uh, it seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. 
Uh, what about those batteries? Yeah, yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately. Oh, damn. This ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Sawit. I came all the way down here to testify, and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal. You lawyers are all slime. Uh, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. Well, that this does remove a lot of suspicion from Larry, right? Nothing I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Sawit. Oh my god! I'm gonna edit the fucking, um... You know those memes of, like, the Indian, um... Indian, like, soap operas? With the really dramatic music? I gotta do that shit on this. Um... <laughs> yes! Okay, cool! Cool, cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm doing that shit. I'm doing that shit, like, as soon as the stream's over. Um... Um... Uh, Mia, I, I, I mean, Chief. Glass shatter effect, yeah? Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. Uh, but Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time downing the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right? Right? Can you think of a reason as why the clock would be three hours slow? I mean, getting fucking bashed over somebody's skull would do it. Wait. Maybe I can prove it. You must have the evidence somewhere in that... that, that um, oh, somewhere that can prove it. Right, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see this evidence. That said, uh, proves why the clock was running slow. Um. I actually don't know what it would be. <laughs> Wouldn't be her. It's definitely not a three hour time difference between Paris and here, so. I don't see how this would lead to it. I would assume just the thinker itself, but, um. Definitely, definitely the, definitely an attorney's badge. <laughs> Barbie was wants to fucking present the thinker again. <laughs> I am in Japan. Okay. But that's, that's definitely not a three hour time difference between, wait, I'm actually looking at time difference. There's no way <laughs> Japan and France is yeah nowhere close nowhere close. It's fucking eight hours. <laughs> hmm. Noon to six p.m. Well, this isn't equipped. Do I literally just present this again? I don't know how this is gonna. <laughs> really, all I can think of. I don't. I can't think through how this would connect to it, really. It seems to be established that the clock has nothing to do with the, ho the house's electricity. Outside the box? Outside the box to me says attorney's badge. Loss of blood due to blunt trauma, what might imply that the, the clock got fucked up. They made an oopsie on certain details? Probably, but that's okay, you know? Like, I, again, like, I, I might miss things, and that's okay. Uh, <laughs> I 
I think it, it can't be doing the statue again, so I'm going to try the pack. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. Yeah. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, I wasn't even thinking a.m. p.m. No I wasn't thinking a.m. p.m. shenanigans. I wasn't thinking a.m. p.m. shenanigans. Okay. That... The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. That doesn't actually prove anything, but it's clever. It's clever. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in, dead in her apartment was wrong. It did say one o'clock. I didn't think it was 1 a.m., 1 p.m. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Proof enough for you, Mr. Saw It? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? <laughs> Mia, please get his ass for that. Yeah. Did he, did he, did he just, did he just seize? Order, order, I say. Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness. The time difference between Paris to Japan is actually eight hours. Yeah, okay, so that, that also probably... I'm chalking it up to that. I'm chalking it up to that. I looked it up. I looked it up, damn it. <laughs> Phoenix Wright kill count one. It's like the scene in, um, it's like that one fucking clip from The Good Doctor where he goes, I am a doctor, and the dude just, like, has an aneurysm, falls him down to the... Phoenix Wright killed him with his autism powers. We love to see it. Hello, sheepy. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> one uses saving time, other doesn't. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe it. <laughs> it's not Japan? They say that. We are in the US? I can't believe it. Um, hello, Hugab, who welcome on in. <laughs> he, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. In, in that little time? I just talked to Chad, okay. Paris to LA. Oh, Aki was right when she said it takes place in Japanifornia. Japanifornia, gotcha, gotcha. The localization team changed. Okay. Some of the testimonies are change of fit. That makes that okay, cool. Cool, cool. Interesting. Very well. Mr. Wright. Paris to LA is 15 hours of wait a second, what? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting conflicting information. Oh, time different wise. Um, yeah. Oh, 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 not travel time. Yes, your honor. I, I have to say I'm, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds a defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. Not guilty. I didn't know that the Japanifornia court system had so much confetti. That's cute. <laughs> and with that, this court is adjourned. Let's go, Butts. Let's go, butts. Let's go, butts. It turns out that Frank saw it was a common, common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Saw it let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blood object he could find. And there we get what we saw. We really saved our butts. It's damn straight.
Also agreed with um with with the the, the, the aforementioned statement from Mojica. No more numbers in chat ever again. <laughs> August third, two thirty two p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number Two. <sighs> I still can't believe we won. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. Well, based on what we know about the Japanese court system, the vast majority of your trials ended in conviction. So like, if we play exclusively defense attorney for this game, we are single-handedly holding up that like entire 1%. <laughs> I've never seen the chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, Nick, don't worry about me. I, I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Wait, wait, no, no, I, I mean, bad, 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 bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Cindy Whitney's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a, nah, never mind. She was getting that bag. Congratulations, Harry. Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the cat that lies now. Harry Butts. Innocent. Uh, <coughs> thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate. Uh, dinner? Movie? My treat. Okay, we all want to take our shot at Mia, but, like, you're... Not now, buddy. This is not the time. You've been, you've gotten the lucky enough for one day, okay? No, oh, no, I, I couldn't. Hey, I was, oh, hey, I, I was the one who got you off the hook. No, oh, hey, here, take this. It's a present, it's a, it's a murder weapon. <laughs> that is morbid. <laughs> Look at his sleeve, I can't. Mmm, still, still sticky, yeah. A present? For me? Wait, wait, wasn't this the evidence that... Oh, he's got his... His hand is fully tucked into his sleeve, all. Actually, I, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll, I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, uh, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And she was playing me for a fool. Don't that make you just want to cry? <laughs> Larry? Are you so sure? Excuse me? <laughs> I think she saw quite a lot of you, in her own way. Nah, but you you, you, you gotta sympathize with me, it's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. What, what the heck is she talking about? Here's her death certificate. Um. Yeah, I don't really know what any of this would. This, I, I don't think it would be the statue. Um. Apologies for gifting you the murder weapon. In my defense, you didn't know he's from murder. I love that that was in the thumbnail, for real. She didn't keep and use it, I guess? 
mean, yeah, she, you, she had it. She had it. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is a clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Oh, yeah, she did. Whatever. She probably just needed a clock, that's all. Brother, she has a phone. <laughs> you think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. <laughs> Yes, I too need a clock that only can tell me the time when I tap it and listen for it to tell me. I think it is 8.16. <laughs> Brother, she brought the thinker in her suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. I hope that made him feel a little better. All right. I hope you see the importance of, of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. In order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. That's... Shaky foundation for a justice system, but all right. Right? Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Why are you talking like you're about to wind up dead? Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess so. Uh, say, how about dinner? On me? Ooh! Oh. We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah, a uh, part, at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? Absolutely. And so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave Mia. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. Oh, shit. And I promised to tell the chief about me and Larry. It'll be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. No, I was right. Don't no. God damn it. <laughs> well, we have to keep going. Fuck. Bro, we were in, though. We were so in. Mautistic got a lot of bitches. Yeah. Time for more. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get another one going. Absolutely. Man, I'm having a good time. Let's not keep going too bad, Mars. Let's keep going. It's happening. Hello? Uh, this is Maya. Hey, Maya. It's me. Mia! Uh, what's up? I, I haven't called in a while. Sorry, I I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. That's all your fault. Hail Satan, Mary, and welcome, welcome. Also, hello, Mars. Hope you're doing well as well. Uh, I, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker. Then it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, 
process? Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Ah, I, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence, then? Uh, well, there's a possibility that might turn out that way. Yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say, 9, to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers. I can really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. All right. It's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep. I'll be waiting, Maya. Sharp beep. Conversation recorded, September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Also, thanks so much for stopping by, Mary, and I understand if you can't stick around, but it's good having you in, and I am, I really hope you, uh, you enjoy the VOD, because I've definitely been enjoying this, it's, it's a good time. September 5th, uh, 5th, 8.57 p.m., Faye and Chloe Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I, I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Fay. Uh, you know what? Because it's a mystery voice. Miss Fay, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker hey, that swallowed those papers. Hey, I'll say it, Chibi. <laughs> <laughs> How could you know? <laughs> oh, you are not company for us with my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. <laughs> my dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Oh, yep, yeah, called it. No! I okay, so we, we see him this time. Okay, gotcha. Red, white, blue. September 5th, 9.08 p.m. Fanco Law Offices. Isn't that a Pokemon Cofagrigus? Yes, it is. Well, not, I mean, I don't know which Pokemon. Well, isn't what a Pokemon, but Pokemon, Cofagrigus is a Pokemon. <laughs> yes. I don't know where he saw it, though. The, 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 it's not a The Thinker. I'll tell you that much. Uh oh, I'm late. Uh, that's strange. Guess the chief left without me. Oh, Cogniferous, that would be it, yeah. <laughs> she said her sister was coming over so we could all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Uh, Mia, uh, maybe she's in her office. No, wait, no, 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 wait. fucking move. Oh, wait, I probably should have looked around for evidence. That's probably what I'm supposed to be doing. I want to... About those burgers, yeah! <laughs> that smell. Blood. Yes. Some, someone's there. No! Chief? Chief? Chief! Oh. Who are you? Did she did she collapse or Oh yeah. The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the shadow. Her body was still warm. 
I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Might be censored from the original GBA version? Interesting! Wait, was this on the GBA? I thought it was a DS game. Chief. Encrusted with dried blood. It was both. Oh, no way! I had no idea. I had no idea this was on the GBA at all. That's crazy. How ironic that this became the murder weapon again. Oh, DS internationally. Okay. Some shards of glass, and, of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. There's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater... <laughs> Gatewater! No, come on. Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. Larry indirectly killed her! Yeah, no, clearly if she had never had the thinker in the office, they were just... There would have just been nothing to murder her with. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but... If there are any clues here... She was struck on the head with a blood object. She probably died instantly. Thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker added the quarter. Yep. Ugh. There's some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces, pieces of glass night light sand bro lying broken in the back of the room. Okay, that's that's in there. Nothing else that sound, seems like a clue here. Huh? A piece of paper. It, it must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? He's gonna think it's... Oh, come on. No. Word is written on blood on this scrap of paper. Maya? Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store and dated yesterday. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police. Find out what that girl was doing here. Wait. Chief's chair. A simple, functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. Nope. Is that... It's painful to look, but... I have to, for Mia's sake. Like she was hit. No, wait, I thought I didn't have a. I didn't. There wasn't a check over that. Can the police arrest the Phoenix? He was technically trusted, touching everything. Well, as we've established, um, you know, um, the, the prosecutor can do their own collection of evidence, even though we don't know if he's going to be, um, you know, prosecuting this. He's probably going to end up playing defense for Maya eventually, but. It's clear that the receipt is going to put Maya under suspicion. Like, that's very obviously what's going to happen here. That girl just now, wait, wait, where'd she go? I put her right there on the sofa. Uh-oh, I, I hope she didn't run on me. Oh, yikes! Don't, don't, don't scare me like that. Uh, uh, excuse me, but, but who are you? It's okay. I, I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya... Faye? Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be evidence for... Uh, use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. I mean, yeah, we... I. It's very obvious that she didn't kill her, but wait, first... Can I look around here? Yeah, there are a few things. It's probably some degree of evidence tampering to show her that early, but no, we got to. The first agent attorney weird girl, the OG. Oh, is she a weird girl? Fuck yeah. I, I don't, wow, I can use objects outside of the court. As <laughs> Phoenix learning how an inventory works, AKA just having objects on your possession. In your possession, I mean, the reception desk. I usually sit here. Is he a receptionist? Aw. He's still learning. 
Small writing desk cluttered with office supplies. You couldn't cram more legal books in here, even if you wanted to. You can gaze upon the shelves without feeling insignificant. This sofa is for clients. It's leather, a real luxury model. The door to the chief's office, it's slightly open. I better not touch the do doorknob. Let's be real, every ace attorney trial is a mistrial? I'm getting the sense of that, yeah. Wait, first things first, I need you to understand something, Maya. I'm an attorney. I I'm sorry, I'm I've never seen that before. <laughs> before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. That, that, that's my name! Wh why? Why would she write my name? Uh, please, please, just calm down. Why, why, why would sis write my name? Oh, uh, now I've done it. I better hurry up and call the police. Wait, no. Can you, can you, can you give it a look again? Can we see what the receipt was for? Maybe she's like, oh, this gift was for you, Maya. I'm assuming that's what it's going to be, but, um... That was a receipt for Burgies. What, she bought them ahead of time? Thank you for going down the path of showing everyone your badge of making Phoenix look like a very proud child. Yeah! I mean, just to make sure people know what's up. Um... She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Uh, excuse me? Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. And sis. Sis. So she was already dead. So you're the chief's sister. I, I, I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting? This late at night? Yes, she... She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Uh, yes, it, it was... It was that clock. It was... The thinker. Oh, yeah! Wait! There's stuff inside this, right? Um... About... The thinker. The uh, uh, thinker! That, that, that was... Uh, oh, sis! Uh, no! Uh, probably shouldn't have asked her about the murder weapon. That, you, that, look inside that shit! Um, so I guess we call from the office? We didn't really examine any of this, actually. One sec. It's Fanco ledger book. Everything is written in the Chief's ultra-neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Inventory management is the job scene of Phoenix signed up for it. You're right, you're right. You signed up to lawyer. Well, Chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. Surprisingly, the Chief was never good with machines. About all she used this PC for was email. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. Right, I better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Uh, police? Uh, please, come quick! What, what was that? Some, someone screaming from outside the window? <gasps> She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Um, I guess, wait, a perfectly normal office desk. Chief had a very particular policy about office decor. Spend big on stuff the client clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Wait. Phone receiver is missing a few screws. I better not use it. Okay, so we can't. Interesting. Um, can I email the police? No. Oh. 
The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Hello, Inspector Zenigata. Welcome on in. All right, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe. See? Gumshoe? What an odd name. I mean, he was he was destined for greatness here. Whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the police. Yep. He received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Why do I feel like I've seen this guy from the unused ghost trick sprites? Ain't that the fucking truth? The, the, the DNA, the through line is strong. Uh, great. Just great. Uh, Maya, uh, wait. She, she, she wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! <laughs> is there Maya here? Maya here mean anything to you? Uh, um, that, that's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. K killer? I'm not case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? Yep, yeah, that's, that's that conviction rate at work, huh? His younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out till the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the, det the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. This is a weird render for this dude. This guy's face is looking weird to me, if I'm being entirely honest. It's like way more like realistically shaded than everybody else we've seen so far. It's fucking me up. September 6, 9.07 a.m. Detention center. Visitor's room. 2001? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Thanks for reminding me of the year. Um, feels like it's an actual photo they drew over. It feels like a Western comic book panel. Um, From like the the... Late 80s to early 90s. Um, it actually, the shading gives Ke modern Ken Penders vibes, actually. <laughs> oh, they have Maya locked up like, oh, poor Maya locked up like a criminal. The discrepancy between her face and his is fucking me up. <laughs> oh, it's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Oh, this sorrowful music. I love it. Oh. Um. Are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. If you'll have me, I want to force my attorneyness upon you. Maybe you got a backup or something. I better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes, I... I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. They're never gonna believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? All cops are badly rendered. <laughs> uh, no, no, I never thought. It, it's okay. I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? My sister said she was totally going to bang you after those drinks, but you never got them with her. <laughs> I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Oh, shit. I was right. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. 
Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. <laughs> so, he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is... experience. Huh. Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. You might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Wow! Okay! Okay! I like it! Oh, we've got a little challenge to live up to! Fuck yeah! Ooh! <laughs> That's what she said! I, I, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to insult you! No, it's, it's okay. It's, it's true, I guess. But... At the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. It's like she recognized her own death flags! I mean, I did. <laughs> it's true, I was begging your sister. We... If only, if only... I feel like I've seen a lot of art of Maya around there. Not banging art necessarily, but I, I really thought she would be around for longer, so good on the community for, um, keeping me blind to that. Um, yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, uh, this is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. You, what, you're like a shrine maiden, or acolytes? Like, people in religious training? Well, what is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. Also, hello, Banyan's missus. <laughs> so tell her I say hi right back. Um, I'm a spirit medium. In training. Oh, no way. Maybe that's why I've seen art of Mia. Maybe maybe she'll get, like, seanced in in the future. A, a spirit medium? I'm, I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Uh, could you tell me about the murder? Uh, the, the, the day of the murder? Uh, yes! Uh, let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Uh, yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. What Larry made? How could that have been evidence in a case? Uh, right. She said something about that. Uh, I remember. Uh, she, do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it! Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. <laughs> that's the best! That's the best! Wait, you're, you're, you, you just automatically... It's always recording? <laughs> Sit down, necromancer! No! The necromancy is what we need right now! Hello, Zaparit! Welcome on in! Hope you're doing well. <laughs> So you say you have your a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Uh, let's hear it. Uh, right. Oh, uh, uh, I just remembered. That detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh. Right. <sighs> of course. I shall speak with the dead of zone of truth. The classic combo. Um. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure. Uh, thanks. Aw. Wait, so there's more? Uh, could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be ha Oh, sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. Kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. Practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. Different one, though, right? I thought he gave the one that he made to, 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 to Mia. Um, so then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around nine. The lights were off, and I could smell blood. Uh, 
then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear from now. Well, I'd love to... I can't... I can't... Crack open the thinker! Damn it. He, he gave his clock to Mia. Cindy's clock isn't in evidence. Yeah, so it isn't a serial murderer. Now, the, the thinker as a concept clearly is, right? <laughs> so, you're an acolyte. Uh, or... Medium in training. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the Fey family, especially the women, are, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second. The, you say the Fey family? So, Mia was into this stuff too. Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, as she said. Her par powers were first class too. I. I had no idea. Ugh. Wait. What? So, you're a real honest to goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes. In training. Well, can't you contact me as spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. I. I'm sorry. I, I'm still in training. I can do something on that level. Ugh. I thought that would be too easy. Plus, I doubt anything you get out of spirit mediumship is admissible in court, so... Um... Huh? Something the matter? Uh, I, I was wondering... Could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're the errand boy for him, sure. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Sure. Sure! I see you don't need me! Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much! I have no one else to turn to. Say, what about your parents? I... I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Uh, thank you, uh, the trial's tomorrow at 10. W what T -t tomorrow Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They give me until four this afternoon. The visiting the hours are almost up, I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Okay? Let's fucking move! Let's meet Miss Grossberg. September 6th, Grossberg Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. Guess I'll just have to come back later. Yeah, but well, let's see how he runs his ship. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Uh, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. Well, I'm, a, I'm you don't you don't put your college copies of your law books in your office, I assume. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The old paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Yeah, man's got like a fucking original Van Gogh on the wall and shit. A table for clients. It's a fucking ashtray, too. Clean one. Uh, an elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. Gold. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. Well, 
Uh, Maya, how are you planning on affording this guy? Nothing at the office for us, is there? The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! Oh, this is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Uh, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait. You're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no. Phoenix Wright. How could, how could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. <laughs> sorry about that. That butts guy. He was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Jesus Christ, ACAB. Holy shit. Um... Doesn't even- even after the fucking Christ. Yeah, it's Detective Gum Gumshoe. And you were Detective Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right. At your service. Hang on. That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. Don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick! Get over here! Yes, sir. Me right there. Oh, get out of the system, buddy. Uh, ahem. You're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you'd better do it quick. Oh, he, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. How much porn is made of this guy? I can only assume a ton. Old movie poster. Apparently there's the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Oh, good tribute. Mia's favorite potted plant. I remember it had this bizarre name no one could ever remember. Hordaline Stricta, pal. Who was that? Wait, what? Quite a lot, big barbo. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> the sky is blue and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing it's missing is... Mia. Did the plan just answer you? I'm assuming it was, like, the memory of Mia. Or mayhaps her spirit. Maybe she's gonna use her spirit powers to contact us. Who knows? Um... I always imagine Patrick's got a, a jump shoes voice would be Patrick Warburton. I'm trying to give it as much Warburton as I have. I'm giving- I'm trying to give it at least a bit of that, like, cadence to it. I'm, I'm that, they, that, that, that's, that's 100% what I'm going for. It, it felt right. The plan has a spirit to be contact. No, Mia. Um, this horrendous amount of legal books here. Scary still is that Mia probably read all of these. Wait, can I go anywhere else here? Hey, um, by the way, eh, what's that? Sorry, pal, but I got no info for the likes of you. You see, I don't see him as a nyasi at all. Also, hello, Noisy. Welcome, welcome. Oh, yes, wait. I was wondering, did you see my face cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you, uh, do you, do you think you could give it back? Uh, sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Oh, he's on to me. No, if we're her lawyer, then we have reason to request it. Singing, but it all matters, vegetable, mineral. I am very muddled the mate. I am. That sounds vaguely familiar, but I don't know what it's from, Mars. I'm sorry. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Is there something the matter? Oh, no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. Phone has a lot of lot number on numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all a little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. Uh, you're, you're trying to confuse me. S sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive, you're quite the detective. Uh. 
Oh, here. You can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there, after all. See, I don't know shit about the Pirates of Penzance, honestly. Um, seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. The year's supposed to be 2016, no fucking way. <laughs> yeah, with that thing, sure. Check the court record to hear. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, I'm not presenting this to you. Um. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we we are read through all this. Clock isn't working now. Good to know that clockwork isn't working. That's. Oh yeah, the papers are inside it, but they won't be. Not letting us check it, but that's okay. Present it. I will present the badge again. Fine. Eh? Uh, what's that? Sorry, pal, but I got no info for the likes of you. The menus did an improper. I'm not shocked at all. They would. All right. Hey! Oh shit, I could have talked to him. You're right, you're right. What else? Um, oh well. Missed on it. I don't know. That's, that's my bad. Um, like we, we gotta get back to our client. Who is now our client, we've decided, apparently. Uh, what is it? D did you meet the lawyer? Sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I see. Ugh. Better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Okay, so it's still waiting for us. Well, okay, in that case, let's go back first and... Uh, about Miss Fade, did you do an autopsy? Oh, peace, peace, noisy. You have a good one, okay? You want to know the results, eh? Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. Wow, he's easy to break. 9 p.m., single blood force trauma, death was instantaneous. Oh, I saw you twitch there, buddy. I got under your skin. Uh, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't gonna win. Why do you say that? City's put prosecutor Edgeworth, eh, Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. Dun dun da! It's, yes, it's him! <sighs> you all done, pal? Uh, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to the witness. Anyway, you better not. No influence in the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Come to think of it, I'd completely forgotten about her. You forgot about the way she breasted boobily down onto the phone? <laughs> like, uh, the witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this. I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already, then? <laughs> You're trying your lawyerly tricks on me now. She's not gonna go outside her room. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to get a detective to leave and try and get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Absolutely. I, I know him. He's, he's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid it pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. 
He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredible young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him again so soon, or facing him so soon. It's the first, first showdown with him. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, Arjaver. Indeed. That one I get. You're the X in gumshoes, the new BF. No. Um. I guess we'll go to the Gatewater before we head back. In Japan, though, that doesn't statistically sound. Um, the statistics, that doesn't sound. Yeah, it sounds kind of like the norm, honestly. But, um, working with that ninety-nine percent. Yeah, he's got it easy, honestly. She's already doing nya hands. Well, hello there, handsome. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. A G. This is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pray need the lawyer who has to cross-examine this one. That's us! Okay, so you got like a hamster in here or something? There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer, and the phone was tampered with! I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? No touching. Ooh, bad boy. Y you really shouldn't play around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Uh, upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I... I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Late summer sunlight steams, streams through the window. There's a fan co off law office building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. Yeah. It would, wouldn't it? A bottle and two glasses are on the table. She had company. Somebody must be staying with her. Ah, a still seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever, one of those is hanging on the wall. The flowers are fake, as expected. I know some, some flowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. Expensive painting? We don't know if it's expensive. It's a hotel painting. It's a hotel painting, Mimi. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, better not encourage her. Uh, you know that thing that occur uh, that ha happened the other day? The, the, the bad thing. Uh, what, what did you see when it happened? I, I don't suppose you could tell me about it? Pretty please? Let me see. Uh, well... Dream on. <laughs> if you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, boy. Um, could you just... Who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer. Are you hitting on me? No, no! Hey, hey, hey I'm, just, I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> you know... You're cute when you blush. What do you mean? This is the first time in my life I blush this much. Uh, uh, uh right, right. C can you just t tell me what it is you do? Well, 
no. <laughs> and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh, boy. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is somebody staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives like on television. Oh, no, no, no. Not me, I, I, I'm just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? Hmm. Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. Oh, boy. I wonder if I can... Excuse me, but I'm a witness. Police witness. Do you understand? How I could... How could I possibly give you any information in good conscience, huh? Me, the witness. It's just like in the movies. She seems like the type to break into the I'm Mr. Sterling Silly Rabbit! Does he call you that? No. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> I was hoping I could, like... I was hoping I could say something or show her something that would distract her so I could actually look into this. What's inside, I wonder? <laughs> Maybe later. I don't know what I could present her to actually... Excuse me, but I'm a witness. Yeah, no, we got this again. Okay, let's head back to Grossberg. Ugh. Seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. Ahem. If that wasn't the most overtop clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Aha! So you're the one they say has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that, that's me. He, he, he looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm? That's bad on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Uh, y yes, well, 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 yes. And what do you want? I, I'm not particularly... I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Uh, busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? You came to you came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um. Well, sir. Actually, it's it's, it's about uh Ma Maya. Maya Fay. Ah, uh, yes, Maya Fay. Go on. Huh? Why this strange reaction? Cha-cha! I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait a second, I... How did you know the trial was tomorrow? <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid it is entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Good suspicious music. Good suspicious music. I tried to <laughs> mute my non-existent mic. No, Vesper. <laughs> he got fucking bribed. Yeah, or something. How can you just refuse like that? But please, tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm? <laughs> well, you see, it's just I, I'm busy, you see. The client, but the client is Mia Faye's sister. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yeah, yes, of, of course I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I, I must refuse. Sorry. Uh, goodbye. Creep. 
Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. <laughs> I think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. What do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I... I cannot say. I, I beg your pardon, but, but could you leave now? I've nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How did you know Mia Fey? Oh, he's so scared, yeah. She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. She learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A uh, mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's, that's quite a painting. Aha, you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I, I, was, I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. I'm not buying. Jeez. Okay. But have you considered that I am a lawyer? Very sorry, but I've got nothing to say regarding this matter. God damn it. Can we distract you yet? No, I don't have anything new to distract her with. I guess we just gotta head on back. Three forty-two. Yeah, we're almost out of visiting hours. Hiya. Oh. You're back! Did you find the lawyer? Um, well... What do I tell her? Well, see... Just be honest. I... I really don't think you should use that guy. He... He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Uh. I see. I've been abandoned then. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait a second. Uh, what, 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 what about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't... No? So she could still be alive? The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an... incident. There was a man, and he... He... He ruined a mother's life. Ruined? A after that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. It's all tied together already. So you live by yourself? Yes, I I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her. All by herself up on the mountain? So, who was this man who, uh, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an un unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads and they were getting desperate. Wait. They didn't use a spirit medium, did they? Police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow, so... What happened? The case was solved. 
We thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. How do they know? How do they know? How do they know? The police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But the man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She... My mother became the laughing stock of the nation. She did get somebody falsely imprisoned. I don't think she maybe deserved, I mean, deserved that level of hate, but I, I do think that may, maybe there's good pre there's, there's 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 good 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 precedent for for you know dismissing usage of spirit mediums in court. <laughs> I'd sue, yeah, I'd be suing the shit out of her too. Well, I'd be suing the police department. Like, let's be real. That's a, the, the point is that the government shouldn't be relying on that shit. I don't care if a private citizen wants to contact a medium. I mean, you know, they can get ripped off if they want to, but right? Um, I, I see. White. I, excuse me? White? That was his name. My, my sister told me. White? Uh. Just a little longer before the state appoint, appointed lawyer comes. It's way more on the piece of people who use it as evidence. Yeah, exactly, right? I thought she was calling you a cracker. I'm. Yes. Well, it was J Japanifornia, so. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Obviously not. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Okay, well, that's, that's going a little far, but okay. She at least let her meet her state-appointed lawyer. Why? Why? Well... Yeah, I just, I feel bad for you. I can't abandon you. Also, we know somebody else is the culprit. You aren't the culprit. Someone else is. How do you know? I... Um, I have a hunch. Given the evidence, it would be easy to assume that Maya was the killer. But there's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. We haven't checked yet. That witness is strange behavior. Was that all an act? The way that lawyer refused to help out Maya. But more than all that, she she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. I know. I've been there a long, long time ago. Do we get like a Phoenix origin story? <gasps> Why'd I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to ha look out for the people who have no one on their side. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I recently reread All Star Superman and like, man, I was hoping that Phoenix would be, you know, a, a, a good old blue boy scout, and I, I think that's the case. I love it. Ah, oh. was the witness's behavior an act? Apparently, pink girls are a thing in this universe. They in every universe, as they should be. We gotta do it for butts. Yes. Um. Thank you, Skate. Exactly for butts, but also for Maya. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. So kind of you. I. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right. Th thank you. Oh, she, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. Oh, wh wh one last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. So what was inside that strange woman's drawer and how do we distract her? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Okay, okay but first... I wanted to ask you about the murder weapon. Poor sis. 
Uh, well, I mean, we need to... Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? Yeah. Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such, with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Okay, but more importantly, can we check inside the statue now? Phone record would be good evidence. Well, not really. It wouldn't really... It wouldn't really absolve Maya unless there's something on there that we wouldn't know. Um... Is there anything I can examine? Scar monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. Real pro, real pro, this guy. Smile for the camera. <sighs> I was expecting there to be more there. Okay, yeah, nothing here. Okay. Back to the hotel. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, excuse me, you are... Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, uh, right. I've just come to, up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Uh, I believe our guest, Miss May, is currently using the uh, facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait. No. Hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait. How's my chance to snoop around a bit? Ah, uh, I almost forget. Ah! You came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp formed. Oh! And there we go. Oh, right. Sure. Phoenix, you're not going to pick up on that? There we go. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? Yep. That was his name. My sister told me. We did not need that flashback. That was ten minutes ago. Max. That was the name of the guy who ruined Maya and Mia's bro uh, Mia and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? In first... Screwdriver sticking out of that half open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A uh, wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Yeah. There's definitely something suspicious about this, Miss May. Why oh, would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this, I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake, I'll get to the this, I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I, I, I mean, I, you, you know what I mean. Oh, oh bellboy, still there? Uh oh, time to scram. I look forward to tang tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. <laughs> yeah. Specify. Specify. To be continued. Yeah. Okay, it's like a mid it's a it's, it's a checkpoint. It's a checkpoint. Yeah. I mean we've gotta finish it. We gotta finish the case. Hopefully it's not the longest court date, but hell yeah. September seventh, ten AM. District court, courtroom number one. Here we are! Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I better not show any signs of weakness today, or it will be on me in an instant. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. 
Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution is as evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls a chief officer at the scene. Detective Gumshoe. Wiretap in the Gatewater Hotel. Yeah, who who the thunk? Who the fucking thunk? Um. Also, how long are you willing to have stream go? I mean, I I, 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 I can probably, I maybe have like another hour and a half in me. I'm starting to get hungry, but we can make it work. I just, I, you know, we'll we'll pace it out. We'll see how it goes. If the if the trial presents a mid trial break, then maybe I'll take it. I'll see how I'm feeling then. But for now. We push forward. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, my name's Detective uh, Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of the homicides, uh, in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. Yeah, hey, psychics have a history of use in the U.S. court system. Yep. In, 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 in the 50 largest cities, showed a third personnel for psychics evidence as at least serious as ever. Go fucking. I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. Honestly. Oh, go figure. The body was found by the window here. And the cause of death? Oh, in the cause of death. Loss of blood due to being hit and struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a, a, a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. More plans added into the courtroom. Yeah, court record, yeah. Now, detective. Uh, yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had armed evidence she did it, sir. Mm, detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. All right, let's 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 keep an eye out here. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already: the defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had an, a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. The very moment, you say? Very well, Mr. Wright. You may ex uh, Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. Smack! <laughs> hey! I just threw something at me. Wait, really? What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It works lots of times. Huh. Should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. All right, let's give this a try. Let's make sure this guy cracks under the fucking pressure. Something the matter? Uh, no, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Yeah, let's just press him on fucking everything. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. Who do you say you got a call from? Hey, pal, don't play dumb. You know who. The call was from a customer at the Gatewater Hotel, right across from the crime scene. 
Um, okay, I pressed. Not sure it did much, though. All right, please continue. Can't believe my threw spitball at me. I'm assuming it was a paper plate or something. Maybe he did a paper football, flicked it over. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, I'm a lawyer. Oh, sorry. There are two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, I'm the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I guess we'll just pressure him on all of it, yeah. Detective Gumshoe, how long would you say it took between you receiving the call and your arrival at the scene of the crime? Yeah, right. I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto this month is quick response, Justice Month. That's how I got there before the killer got away. Indeed. So, tell us who the two people you found on the scene were. Yes, sir. Oh, it transitions us nicely back into it. That's cute. That's good writing. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, just that month. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure it was us? Listen, pal, your dumb act will only get you so far. With her funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair, you two stand out like, like suspicious people at a crime scene. Well, he does have a point of her, about her. She is pretty unmistakable. I should pick up my points to press with a little more care. Yeah, that's what I thought. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness said she's. Uh, uh, the witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. I mean, yeah, this is all we need to. But at the moment, did she say she saw her striking the blow? Why does everyone look like Gundam? We wrote visual story on post EDO period when government officials were almost exclusively nobility as a result of samurai who needed jobs. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, no, um, and also, like, there was a lot of, like, weird westernization going on there. Hold it, who's Phoenix Wright? No, no. No, we are not, we are not har harrying our, our way through it. We're not dubozing it, okay? Hold on just one second. Uh, yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, right? Huh? Did, did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about this suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't Pink, pal. Well, well, I, gu I guess she is Pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um, hmm. Guess pressing can have its advantages. Yes. Yeah, he's gonna bring up the note. Gah! Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There's something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Grumpy Barry, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. What brings you around these parts? I hope you can be a little less grump around here. Hard evidence, okay. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. How do you like that? That's my hard evidence. Hmm. Before we begin a cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Your Honor? Why didn't you testify about the vital piece of evidence the first time? Ah. Uh, I know. I'm real embarrassed and forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Happily. I wonder if we get to see Edgeworth do any cross-examination, too. During a suspect, I examined the scene of my crime with my very own eyes. Found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Let's see. No, 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 that's not what I wanted to... Uh, 
I, I want to I want to I want to know what the receipt is for. Yeah, just because he found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote it. No, he mentioned everything else. Ho oh, ho! Then who did write it, smarty pants? Who? Um. I did. No. No. Oh, the killer might have, but you know we got evidence otherwise. The, the killer. Anyone can see that. Oh, you're saying the killer wrote her own name? Buddy, please. She was framed. Oh, hold on. If that's the case, where's your evidence? Ah. Uh, uh. Ooh, the disapproving smirk. Ha, I get that was a, guess that was a bit of a tall order for you. Those without evidence shouldn't open their mouths, Mr. Wright. Yeah, pal. <sighs> well, detective, tell us what was written on that memo you found. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results show that the blood was the victim's. I didn't lose anything for that, at least. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Okay. We don't necessarily know she's writing the killer's name. That is speculation, at the very least. I can object to that. Um, the department store receipt, but I don't know that. Hmm. Okay, well, we can press him on this, at the very least. Detective Gumshoe. You got a lot of cases where the victim usually actually writes the killer's name. Sure. It happens all the time in books and movies. This isn't a movie, detective. Ugh. Let's talk about reality, shall we? Ugh. I guess I haven't heard of many cases. No. Don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name? Especially the name of her own sister? Uh, yeah, actually, you got a point, pal. Stop right there. The witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of a killer. Objection, speculation. Order, order. That didn't go so well. Uh, that's right, what he said. That's his whole testimony. Okay, there has to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let's find it. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. Hmm. I'm wondering if we mentioned, like, did you find this? I feel like in the, what the receipt could be for might have some clue to this. almost wants to, like, present this memo and, like, look into it more, but... Nine p.m. We have... I feel like the floor plan... Yeah, what if I present this? I'm... I don't feel like I'm gonna get, I'm gonna lose anything for like n presenting this early. Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. No, it doesn't. Damn it, damn it. Okay, I gotta, I, I gotta match it to the exact statement. Yeah, match it to the exact statement, yeah. That's fine. Remember, no written on paper, paper in the victim's body. Mine was written clearly. Wait. Okay, it's definitely not like a backwards or upside down thing, is it? No. Oh, I can check it. I can check it. Doesn't help me that much, though. Dread of not hearing a music shift on present, right? Show that the blood was the victim's. There's blood found on the victim's finger. 
That's his whole testimony. Alright. I don't feel like I'm gonna get anything out of pressing him on these, but we gotta try. I don't want to fly, fire blindly. What kind of tests were these again? Huh? What kind? Uh, well, I hear they take the uh, little bits in the blood, the, uh, the hemo, hemoglob, her, 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 her goblin, uh, hobgo, her goblin bobbin. I refuse to testify in this matter, pal. I'm no expert on blood tests. Yes, that was quite clear. You may continue with your testimony. Thanks, pal. I mean, your honor, sir. Detective Gumshoe? Yeah? I look forward to your next evaluation. As should you. Oh! God damn it. Oh. That was a mess. No! Right, where was I? Oh, God, his job's on the line! Again, like, even if you were well meaning, ACAB! Just for being part of the system! All right, blood found on the victim's finger. Can we get any more of that? On which hand was the bloody finger, detective? The right hand. Uh, she was right-handed. <laughs> nice try. Uh oh, this wasn't too hard to see what I was getting at there. Yeah, so there's not much to go into here. None of this shit really contradicts any of that, anything he said. Are you sure they were your own eyes? Um, <laughs> fuck. And did you find any evidence? No, no, don't jump the gun on me, pal. Just listen, I'm getting to the good part. Got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, and then he found the memo. I feel like I gotta be... I don't know how the glass shards were playing into anything. Uh, you can say something very... Try not to be too hinty with it, okay? Mars, but you can say something. It's like a more like a different way of... Keep it, keep it vague. Because I, like, my immediate assumption is like, obje yeah, objection, um, speculation on this, right? Like, I feel like I should, I should, you know, present this at some point during this, but I have no idea which of these I would do that on. Right? Single blood force trauma, death was instantaneous. You'll know when to pr When he pr be when he described the crime itself? Well, he didn't describe the crime itself. I'm securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my very own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Could we, like, get him to match it up with here? He didn't secure the suspects. That, that's, that's, one, that's one thing for sure. We know that because she was on the couch. Um... Yeah, you didn't secure the suspect. Wait a second. Well, I don't know how I would give evidence of that. This is not the yeah. Yeah, wait. Wait, didn't we? Okay, okay. Now this is a this is a, this is an interesting question. I thought we had we had had we picked up the receipt. I thought we had picked up the receipt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just present this for the sake of trying to move things on. Be like, do you mean this receipt that I picked up? Your Honor, that takes no, no, that doesn't work. Yeah, man, this is tough. This is tough. Holy oh, shit. Um, 
because he found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote no we know that we know that i did no oh, no we'll skip to this at some point we put it back yeah you admit that you wrote the note <laughs> uh listen to me mr wright there's a court of law and i expect you to refrain from making thoughtless statements amateur Well, detective, tell us what was written on that memo you found. Where Maya was written clearly in blood. I have tested the result was blood victims. Also, there's blood found on the victim's finger. First or second half of the statements with issue. I'll take, yeah, I'll take that distinction just to narrow it down a bit. Thank you for not just like spoiling shit for me. Because yeah, um, it's clearly like very specific about what, what wants me to use and when. Like, I, like me, I think, the, like, I don't see any contradiction with the floor plans right now. Okay, yeah, well, the second half of it. So we, we press him on these three. Well, did we press him on this one? Could it say anything else? Do you have proof it was Mia who wrote that? Yeah, no, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just have the results of the victims. Yeah, yeah, we got this. And then we already pressed them on the last one. Yeah, the second half of them. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. before she died? Do we know it was written before she died, I guess? Is the one thing I'd say. Like... Death was instantaneous. Death was instantaneous. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wait a second. There we go. There we go. Okay. That... <laughs> when I... When contradiction. That's, that's more pedantry than contradiction, but I'll take it, I guess. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Okay. Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. Say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Maya Fey? That's really what you're saying? What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? You have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But... No butting your way out of this one, detective. Okay, yeah, no, that was... A, that did, I wouldn't... It would take me fucking forever to catch that. Fair enough, fair enough. Order, order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you attain that autopsy report? When? It was the day after the murder, right? It was the day after the murder. Prosecution's point being, that autopsy report is outdated, your honor. Oh shit, what? What? A second autopsy report, well, autopsy was performed yesterday, at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. But there's a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way. Your honor... It's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. Should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. Why didn't you observe? Why didn't you admit that into evidence earlier, Edgeworth? Why, Mr. Wright? You look shocked. Something you want to say? You're a sham, Edgeworth! 
Mr. Edgeworth. I've heard there's nothing you won't do to get your verdict. What reason could you possibly have had to request a second autopsy report? Mr. Wright, the defense will refrain from personal attacks on the prosecution. No matter, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, say what you will, the evidence of this report is undeniable. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. You should have been doing that from the beginning. Uh, understood. The court accepts the evidence. Autopsy uh, report updated in the court record. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes? Darn. This isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Exactly what part of her is innocent? <laughs> She's still meowing it up for the court. I love it. Witness, your name, please. April May, at your service. Crowd likes her. Order! An introduction should not require any re reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. Oh, yes, Your Honor. This is not good. Sorry, captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. The little leg stance, yeah! Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Ah, uh, gee, I was like, in my hotel room. <laughs> I checked in front of me in right after lunch. Then this hotel is directly across from the Fay & Co. Law Offices. Uh, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. All right, be careful. Read very carefully right now. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know. And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. And the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. And the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy wink. Uh, well, Your Honor, I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness anymore. But wait, Your Honor. Uh, yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness's testimony right now was quite firm. Didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you are Miss Mia Fey's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny fault in, p in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Yes. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. Only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well. You may be good in your cross-examination. Does Maya have the physical strength to do so? They mentioned the, the Thinker statue being heavy enough that even a weaker person could kill somebody with it. All right. Hmm. Dodged to one side and ran away. How would you see that with the window like that? She dodged? Dodge what? Well, the attack. Please continue your testimony. But that girl, she caught up to her and she hit her. Wait. No, 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 no. No, no, wait. There's got to be something. I know. Okay. How did you see it? If she dodged to one side, it wasn't the widest window. 
Your Honor. That shit. Damn it. Oh God, our trial meter is going down. Yeah. Woo. Woof. Watch the one side room. Hmm. Let's 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 press a little bit more. Why do you do that? Huh? Why? Like why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh uh, well, uh, gee. What? That's it? She can't get out of this question that easily. I sorta, you know. I had a feeling. Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press a little harder on this one. I don't know what we could get out of it, but I'm kind of grasping at straws, so might as well see how far I can run with this. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at that time of night. I... Uh... Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. Badgering? You insist on needling her with these trivial questions. I really don't think it should be allowed. Yeah, yeah, stop him. Yeah, she's got the crowd on her side. That poor girl. Order! That's right. You've been warned. Poor girl? What about poor me? You looked out the window. What did you see next? They've lived for a few minutes after... I don't know what I can gain after this. Let, we gotta try. How do you know she was a defendant? Uh, well, you know, she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I, I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short, girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. That's right. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get any more out of that. Testimony certainly does make sense, and everyone in the court keeps siding with her. Better not press too hard on this one. So then, tell us what happened to the victim. Dodged one side and ran away. Part of me wants to be like, well, did she dodge into this broken light stand? But no, that would make more sense, if anything. Did you see the hit happening? How do you know it was my client? Huh? Well, I... Gee, first of all, she had a girl's physique. And and secondly, she was she was small. Who else could, could, could it be but her? There's a point. Testimony certainly does make sense, and everyone in the court keeps siding with her. We're not pressed too hard on this one. It's somehow not this. I feel like the glass shards have to remain, come into play at some point. I don't know why I'd get out of pressing her on this, but... The one with the long hair. That was Mia Faye? Uh, uh huh. Slender, sort of. Well, well, some people might say pretty if that's your thing. Your thing? And the person attacking her? Okay, yeah, nothing more to press on that. I I have no idea how these would come in. Fuck it, let's try it. Yeah, no, 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 no music change. Yeah. Okay, I gotta be, it's gotta be a lot more specific. Gonna penalize me, and we're, we're yeah, we're almost dead. Ugh. I must be on the wrong track. Yeah, no kidding. Oh boy, we'll have to see how how much how far we have to start over from. Can we fuck up again? How do you know it was my client? Yeah.
we have, it's, it's gonna be a thing that we have to question further. We can save? Oh, I can, I can save. Oh, shit. That helps. Did not know. Good to know. Kind of takes away a little bit of... I'll, I gotta remember to start saving at the beginning of Trials. There's gonna be... There's gotta be something we can press her on. Um... I feel like this is the one I pressed her on before. Or was it? No, no, I pressed her on why she looked out the window. Okay. We gotta press her on this one. She dodged? Dodge what? Well, the attack. Please, continue your testimony. Nope, never mind. Okay. Yeah, thank- No, no, thank you, Vesper. Good on you. Okay, I'm gonna press her on the possibility of... This... Yeah. Right. How do you know she was a defendant? You know... I'm questioning it. This might fuck me up. Hold on a minute! That testimony stinks! What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that. Fuck. I'm willing to bet that you're lying. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what's the meaning? Somebody tell me, because I'm clueless uh, about this, I mean. Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Good point. Good point. I mean, he was talking about how, like, details of faces would be hard to... I'm sure. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. Yeah, roaster in court. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. Testimony is bogus. But, 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 still, well, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. We do. She was, your honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Does he comment on how hard it is to see her out, out of room when it? Yeah, yeah, no, I was thinking about that. That's some kind of, yeah. What are you trying to say, uh, you mean lawyer? I, I saw what I saw. I, I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessarily, da darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. Oh, I'm sorry, your honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. Wink. Your testimony again, if you would. Oh yeah, we saw her. We saw her in the act. She didn't wait. Yeah, if she's saying the only two people that she didn't mention me being there at all. We saw her. We saw her see us. I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Okay, more, more specific now. Wait, let me just check. There's nothing blocking her. But the glass was shattered on the left. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. Hello, Mara, welcome on in. And she hit her with that weapon. Oh, I saw it, I did. That, that clock, uh, that kind of statuey clock. The, the thinker, I think. Oh, well. Does the accuracy of my report not startle you? <laughs> oh, no, I think I'm... I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. Why is she in the nya pose? Because she has something to hide. We gotta get to the bottom of it, except I already know. <laughs> I, 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 it's either 
I'm kind of safe scumming it, but just for the sake of not wasting time. It's either the, the floor plan or the, 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 or the glass. And I think it's the glass. Snag, have a good lurk. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Okay, we're trying it. Nope, that didn't get it. Oh, no, they are, they are, they are related. They are related. Who, who broke the glass? Who broke the glass? I don't think that won me any post with the judge. That's enough. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. The defense has failed to give the court sufficient reason to doubt the prosecution's claim. Yeah, ouch. This court finds the def de defendant, Miss Maya Fay. Oof. The accused will surrender to the court immediately. To be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. This court is adjourned. Sorry I let you down, Maya. Wow. Right back here. Okay. Okay. It's right off to the right. Is that so? Wow. Okay. That's not... Okay. Oh, I gotta press her first. Don't I? Whoops, um, load. Okay, so both of those were were, 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 were the wrong idea. Okay, right off to the right. She didn't say that before. We should have pressed. Is that right as in your right as you looked from the hotel? Uh, which hand do I hold my knife in again? Right, it was my right hand, right? Satisfied, Mr. Right? Please continue. Well, okay, in that case... And then the hippie goes, shit her with that weapon. I saw what I did. Would that also be to the right? How convenient to remember her hippie clothes. That's what you, I, I mean, that's what she was wearing. Uh, oh, and her hair was all done up like a bun. <sighs> what happened then? Where did this weapon come from? Uh, she picked it up from the desk. Oh, I see. What sort of weapon was it? Yeah, the thinker. Statue clock, yeah, none of that messes with it. If she dodged to the right, then how did she pick? She would have been out of position to pick the pick up the hip. Yeah. like I know I know I'm trying to connect it to the floor plan and my assumption is okay if you move to the right like where how did she pick it up how did when did she pick it up um because it was on the other side of the room so that's what I'm trying to prove with this that's my line of thinking here and it didn't change the music so it didn't work that that was that was not it um fuck okay it's frustrating because, like, I know <laughs> hyper specific to the type of evidence I need for it. Yeah, no, exactly. Did you see everything? You saw me then, too? Of course. Well, I'd remember that spiky hair anywhere. Well, you didn't mention me. Spiky? A witness will refrain from personal attacks on the defense attorney. Oh, was I a bad girl? I'm sorry. Very well. Continue. That was the first attack, right off to the right. We know it's her right. weapon come from? Oh, wait. wait. Okay, and I can't, yeah, I can't hit them with evidence during that. Uh, clock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Uh, well, don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. 
No, but I have a feeling I'm onto something now. Wait! How do you know it's a clock? If it, do it doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work anymore. Wait a second. So do I... W the question is, it doesn't want me to... No, no it doesn't want me to... Wait. Wait. Clock isn't talking right now. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, there we go. There we go. Objection. Motherfucker! No! Okay, it wants me to present the clock. <laughs> I plan. I do not plan on saves coming like this in the future. It's just because we're on one little bar. I think in the future I'll probably be saving at the start of the trial and going back to that or something. Uh, damn it. Okay. You mean this? Okay, that That doesn't that doesn't work either. Oh, the wrong if they reset the testimony. That's my bad. That's my bad. Yeah, wrong statement. God damn it. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, whoops. Okay, that was the last one. It's literally the very last one. Okay. Okay. There we go. Miss May, what you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, naughty Mr. Lawyer? You just said that this statue of the thinker was a clock. There's no way knowing that of knowing that just by looking at it. Uh. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. That he was found guilty. A murder. Order! Order! Miss May! Can you explain how you know this is a clock? Oh, uh, yeah. Objection! <laughs> the witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, of course, you will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Murderer, single, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. This is our second case. Well, we'll leave. Okay, there we go. Um. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Oh, that was close. If you stopped me there, the trial would have been over. Uh, what? So, so, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was clock? What? Uh, that, that's... Because I, I, I heard it. Yes, I heard it say the time. From across the... So you've been to the law offices of Fanco. N no, hey, I, I didn't say that. Why, why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. <laughs> the law offices of Fanko, where the murder took place, is very close to the hotel. She could easily have heard the clock. Uh, well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? How loud is this clock? No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because she couldn't have heard it. It couldn't have rung. Your Honor, members of the court, it is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. Did it explain why? The clock isn't talking right now. It's not working. How to take the clockwork out? Papers. Hey, yeah, yeah, that was it. I guess empty would be the way to describe that, yeah. That clock is missing its clockwork. How could you possibly? Let's take a look right now. Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is that the defense says. I'm <laughs> Mary and feel so violently. No! <laughs> This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Okay. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? 
as, as you can see, the clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. Fat? Well, Miss May. Tisk tisk. Hmm. Quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. It can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there was no contradiction. Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. A clock might have been emptied after she heard it. That is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Yes, I can. You teed this up for me. Thank you for the easy one. Ho <laughs> ho! Impossible, of course. I have proof. But what? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. Ooh, a little domination loss for Edgeworth. Ha ha, suck it. Okay, um, yeah, present that shit. Take a look at this. Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. Oh, you have a girly phone. Wait, 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 this, this isn't my phone. Uh, listen, uh, this is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order! The, the defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it? Good old detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. Gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation. So. Not that one. <laughs> so, you just want me to hold on to the finger for you, then? If you could. Uh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working, that's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Jesus, that's loud. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Well, Miss May... Would you care to explain, explain this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? Well, well, is, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Uh, what, what store was that again? I go to so many. Uh, oops, I forgot. <laughs> so the witness has seen it before. That would make sense. No, I, I, have an, yeah, I do have an objection, yes? When it's claimed she had seen it before, this directly contradicts the piece of evidence we already submitted to this court. Well, then let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness had seen the clock had not seen the clock before. I mean, yeah, made by Larry Butts. It's simple. This clock was never in any store ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world, and the one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible. Everything is sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Uh, oh? Excuse is not on sale today? Oh shit, she got the JoJo face going! What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it! Die! Whoa! Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, it is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Uh, uh, 
Silly me. <laughs> did I, uh, did I, like, uh, lose it? I, I guess I did. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Oh, uh, oh, oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, your honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a, was a clock because you had heard about it. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard it was a clock. She heard? That's correct, your honor. There's no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, uh, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Okay. I mean, obviously. Have a look at this. Oh, uh, uh, th th that? <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Mrs. Mia Fay's phone, were you not? Uh, uh. Your honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. Uh, this is outrageous. Uh, does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can. It's simple. What? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone the weapon was a clock is... I mean, yeah, it was on here, right? Made to look like a statue of the thinker, and it tells you the time. Yeah. Wait, we've already been over this, buddy. I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for, uh, for me. Again? What's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... I... Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. Uh, 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 yeah. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May! Uh, shut up, all of you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer! It's not fair! All of you ganging up on me like that! Oh, I'm so I'm the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? Uh, uh, <laughs> She's crying, oh god. Hey, Cab, um... That did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. Why the wiretap? Why did you tap her phone? Yeah, I, I, as, as, as my throat gets drier, I, uh, start to lose a chain smoker voice, uh, ironically. Gotta, gotta keep it hydrated. <laughs> Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a, a murder trial? Isn't Tiffany tapping uh, irrelevant? <sighs> She's saying exactly what Edwards wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. 
While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, you have an explanation for the court. Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? Huh. I'd like to see her pull that off. Miss Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, she's good. Well, you're not the first man who's thought that. And of course, I can and will. Oh, what you pulling off, baby? You can't be serious, no way. Way, I say, way. Oh, and I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Yeah. Okay, so the killing happened around nine at night? Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Ice coffee, I believe it was. Ice coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and then you have uh, regular cold coffee. Uh, ice coffee? Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy, winks. And go, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. I'm not saying that you're, you were there. I'm not saying you did it. So, where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her, te her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Faye, commit murder. No, I'm gonna let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May up and made in the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Ugh. Well, come on, think of something, King something. Oh, God, um, just for the sake of time. Um, I don't think the bellboy's gonna help us. I don't think the bellboy can help us. All right, on with the cross examination. What exactly do you have left to examine, Mr. Wright? Miss April May is admitted to the wiretap, yes. But that bears no relevance on the case at hand. Murder. There's no way you can prove any connection. Oh, I think this can't be the end, but I'm, I'm out of evidence. We have more evidence. I believe this cross-examination is over. Mr. Everest, does the prosecution have any other witnesses to call? None, Your Honor. Ah, fuck. She's the last. But, but, but that means... Is guilty? Wait! Your Honor! Yes, Mr. Wright. The defense would like to call the... Oh, yep, okay. The defense would like to call the bellboy after all. Tisk, tisk, tisk. As I thought. May I remind you, dear Mr. Wright, should you question the bellboy and Miss April May's alibi prove to be solid... And by default, your client, Miss Maya Fay, will be pronounced guilty. Are you prepared to accept my condition? Edgeworth. She's got me backed into a corner. I don't see any other way to take this. I accept! Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. Okay, no choice but to get him in. Gotcha. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may get his testimony. Oh, they're not gonna let him, they're not gonna let him put it down. They're not gonna let him put it down. He's on the clock, baby. Very good, sir. I am the head bellboy at the fine Gatewater Hotel, in business for generations. This was long... Yeah, I, I, fi I figured that, that we were going to wrap it up shortly. Um, I believe I received a call after 8 in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought up to her at 9 on the dot, sir. Interesting! On the dot! I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. We'll flirt a little bit too while he was at it. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May, herself. 
Oh yeah, no, peace, peace, Dan Cry. You have a good one. Oh, time to go in early? Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, good for you. Good for you. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Right, I'm ready. I hope this is it. Can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now. I will be finished. Okay, so she requested him to come up at exactly the time of... After 8 in the evening from our guests. Wait. That was this... Wait, that conversation was this morning. They live for a few minutes, yeah. Ice coffee to bring about... At 9 o'clock on the dot. 9 o'clock on the dot, you say? Me is. I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. I know. The time of the murder. Yeah, I will save, actually. Good point. This is the sake of timing. Yeah, I delivered the iced coffee to her... Uh, I guess Miss May herself. Wait, no, sometimes he drops it off. Are you sure it was Miss April May herself? Yeah, absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought her room service, sir, she... I guess, sir, she favored me with a, um... An... Embrasser, sir. Em... Embrasser... Uh, embrasser? Is, is that French for embrace? It's French for a uh, kiss, sir. Uh, but not a French kiss, sir. More, more of a pick on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our maid was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. Yeah. It's no good. There's nothing there. Is, is that it? Tisk, tisk. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any uh, any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Uh, it was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? I we, we, we have to, right? Yeah, I'm like... Wait! Please wait. Oh, uh, yes? The defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. This is really it now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Uh, <laughs> I mean, room service is what he's been talking about, so I feel like I won't get anything more out of that. I did save. I did save, Marion. Don't worry. If I if if she checked in, did anybody else check in with her? So tell me about check in. Tell me about when you checked in, Miss May. Oh, all right. Very well, sir. My first thought was that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl, so it was a disappointment, really, when you had somebody with her. I see. Excuse me, uh, what exactly was a disappointment? Uh, well, I am not without charm, sir, but even I'd have little chance with her lover there. What did he say? What did you say? Ah, oh, uh, rather quite. Uh, bellboy, tell us the truth now. Did Miss May check in with another person? I object. Uh, that was objectionable. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, uh, I see. Uh, 
Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, you didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Uh, yes, quite, uh, indeed. It was the uh, good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... He asked me not to mention if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Uh, you, you fool! I've done it. I've won! Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. Correct? Uh, y y yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room. Uh, that's great, sir. Mm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright, who is this other person? Simple. It was... The man who checked in with Miss May. Oof. <laughs> Your Honor. As has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone, yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, 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 what's a convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. No! Oh! Upstart, amateur. These accusations are, are ludicrous. Enough! The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I to under understood? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of my affair. Court is adjourned. September 7th! Mr. Wright! You were amazing in there! Really? I think I might be your newest fan! Oh, I, I was just doing my job, you know? <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. Huh? That face of his, with his eyes wide and the trembling lips, it sends shivers on my spine! Uh, if you say so. So, what happens with me? Uh, do I get to go home now? Uh, well... No, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. Uh, lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key! Oh, I get it! What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. Guessing, guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm gonna find out more about this man. Uh, do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Yes. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you! Tumbly, don't spoil how many days the trial is, okay? That's for a full record of May April May's testimony. Thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. Dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. Interesting. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Mine doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. To be continued, fuck yeah, okay. Hell yeah, hell yeah, this game's good, this game's fun. I'm digging this, I'm having a great time. I hope y'all have been enjoying it as well. Late night rating, law and order theme, I mean, come on. 
We'll do we it don't need to acknowledge Fuck what it, it represents, okay, but. Throw me some numbers. Okay. And I guess we'll pick up back from he from here next Sunday. Yeah, baby! Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. Um, audio jungle, audio jungle, audio jungle. Don't demonetize this pod. Don't demonetize this pod. All right, yeah. No, peace, peace, mommy. You have a good night. And we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna find somebody to raid into real quick. Uh, but thank you all so much for joining me tonight. It was a grand old time. I had a uh, phenomenal time. This is a fun game, fun game, and I'm excited to get into more in more of it in the future. Uh, this coming week, Wednesday, for EST, it's FIFA versus the one, the only lingering will. Really excited for that. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, the hardest boss in Kingdom Hearts 2 by far on its highest difficulty is gonna be lots of fun. Um, we'll see if I even have any chance at beating that. Uh, this coming Friday, I think it's gonna be Zero Ranger and then Hades after as a way of uh, balancing things out. And then uh, if you're looking for more of this, uh, that's gonna be, um, we're gonna be playing more fucking, uh, um, <laughs> Phoenix Rice Ace Attorney, uh, next Sunday, 7 ESC, as per usual. Should be a good time. Um, right now, we're gonna be raiding into, let's see, where do we go? See if these people have been going for a little while. They kind of have... Mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck it. We haven't gotten to raid into Take Two before, so we're going to raid into Take Two. Very cool, uh, very chill part of the community. Um, I think she deserves some love. So let's get that going right now. Again, um, if you uh, don't follow me on my all, all my bullshit, you can follow me on my bullshit. Uh, watch my videos on YouTube. Consider joining the Discord if you haven't already. Uh, again, I'll be back this coming week at um, Wednesday, 4 ESC, Kingdom Hearts 2. Friday, 7, Hades and Zero Ranger. And then Sunday, 7, more Ace Attorney. I can't wait to keep playing this game. I can't wait to keep, um, you know, just sharing and voice acting this game with y'all. I am super psyched to get into this um, and see what more <laughs> mysteries we have to uncover. But until then, thank you all so much. As always, hail Satan, abolish ice, free Palestine, and we'll catch you next time. Oh, no. Satan's pretty cool.